Bishop Daud, nice having you here. Thank you very much. So, um, we wanted to talk to you because you have just won the 2018 John F. Lemieux Medal. Wow, congratulations. Thank you very much. I'm very honored. <laughs> so, tell us, did you know about your nomination for this award? I did not know that I had been nominated. Uh, the person doing the nomination didn't tell me. Uh, I first heard about it when, actually, I was, believe it or not, picking up my mother at the airport. Uh, the phone rang and I got a call from Concordia. They said, please call us back. We have some good news to share with you. So I was there at the international arrivals talking <laughs> with someone to find out about the award. Okay. So it was a nice surprise for you to have at the airport. Yes. So what did your mother, your family, your colleagues think about this? You know, the award I didn't know anything about, John F. Lemieux and this award that had been created in his memory to honor him. And I, when I first read the description, it talked about someone who is a trailblazer, someone who is trying to be a next generation thinker. It, it didn't have the usual criteria for awards that we hear, you know, service to the community or what have you. So I wasn't quite sure why I had received it. But when I showed the description to other people, to my friends and colleagues, as you say, their general reaction was, oh yeah, we see you in that, definitely, that's you. So it's, it's kind of nice. It, we don't always know ourselves, so the award has really helped kind of raise a mirror to my face and helped me to see how other people see me. Right. Well, that's great. So, uh, why do you think you won? Um, what does it mean to have won for you personally? Well, what does it mean for me to have won this award? It's something that I've actually brought to my prayer life. That little description of the award is something that I wrote in my spiritual journal. And my spiritual journal I review regularly and with my spiritual director, and just, just for myself, because I find that God comes to meet us in our day-to-day -day life. And one of the first things we can do as we grow spiritually is get to know ourselves. And since the award kind of revealed that side, and you know, I, I want to receive it in humility, but also as a statement of truth. So it's actually, what it's meant to me has been a spur on my own journey of uh, growing in the Lord and coming to know myself so as to be able to grow in the Lord. I'm not sure those who gave me the award had that in mind when they did it, but that's been one of the positive effects for me. That's great. Um, so I would like to know uh, what drives you, what drives you most? Uh, you know, what, and maybe an interesting fact that you would like to share with us. What drives me most? It's a very good question. You know, my first degree is in international business and finance. So I learned a lot about organization. I learned a lot about money and, and business and how to be, you know, part of the economic engine of our society, you might say. Obviously, I left that behind when I decided to go into the priesthood. For me, I have found that the wealth that I want to accumulate is not material wealth. I find the people around me are a source of great richness, and I am a collector of stories. I love to tell stories, I love to hear stories, I love to see how stories weave together, and I find that a community is really a, a giant narrative, a collection of stories. So as a priest, I've been very blessed to be involved in people's lives at very happy moments and in sometimes very tragic moments. And it's not just in those moments. What I try and do is find out how those moments are part of the person's story. And I've been so blessed to be part of people's stories, not to just be present in moments, but to help be part of the story. And so sometimes I'll get a message from somebody 10 years later saying, do you remember me? We met at this thing and this was how this unfolded. And it's nice to see that I've been able to receive other people's stories and I've been able to be part of it. And that's my, my passion, that's honestly my greatest wealth. And as a bishop, as a priest, I'm so honored to be part of that. Mm -hmm. um, so what's happening next? What are you hoping to achieve? Oh, what am I hoping to achieve? Honestly, I don't know. I'm, I, I, there's so many things that I'd like to do. I recently put together my bucket list, just for the heck of it. So I've got all kinds of fun stuff on there, some serious. 
you know, I would like to finish my master's thesis, which I've been working on for a while now, and get that done and get my degree in canon law. But I'd also like to learn to ride a horse. Uh, there's a parishioner at the parish where I serve, Our Lady of Fatima. Uh, she's a young woman in her late teens, and she's a competitive horse jumper, and so she's offered to teach me to ride a horse. So we're going to do it. I'm going to cool. go for it. And one of these days, I'll run a marathon. I'm, I'm only up to 5K now, but one of these days we'll get there. And I, I heard somewhere that uh, you also like languages. Are you willing to learn something else? I love languages. Well, that's part of the collecting stories idea that I mentioned earlier. Uh, there's nothing like hearing the story in its original language because every language has its nuances. I, I'm actually a, a German citizen. My mother is German, and so German is a language that I know and a culture I know. My father is Irish background, so I grew up in an English-speaking household. I live in Quebec, which is a French-speaking province. And I've been blessed to have the opportunity to learn uh, Italian and some Spanish. And then smatterings of other little things here and there, linguistic and cultural encounters. So I would love to learn to speak Mandarin one day and be able to talk to, you know, a billion people and maybe learn Hindi and speak to another billion. So just to weave together and, and become part of the great story. Great. Good for you. I'm, um, I'm sure uh, the Lord will bless you with all those extra gifts. So thank thank you. you very much for uh, interviewing with us today. Thank you. My pleasure.